Okay, so the first book I'm going to read was a request, Sonia's Chickens, by Phoebe Val Wall. And so it's written and illustrated by the same person. It's a lovely book when you look at it. I don't have the dust jacket anymore. Um, this is the whole of the book front and back, except that the the back does definitely doesn't feel like it's connected to the front. So maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We can see Fox and some kits and Sonia perhaps and her chickens. So this book was given to us uh, by Junie for her to celebrate her third birthday. Sonia's chickens, and it just so happens that she's a chicken girl. Uh, Junie is. She can make friends with any kind of animal. So this is a good book for her to gift to the school for my family with thanks for the free range childhood. And that is our Junie for sure. Okay, so one day Sonia's papa came home with three fluffy chicks. He gave the chicks to Sonia. It can be your job to take care of them, he told her. Oh, look. Oh, I mean, you already know that you would really pet that chick's head. Okay. The chicks lived in a cardboard box in the house while Sonia and her parents spruced up the old coop in the yard. Sonia took good care of the chicks. She liked to keep them tucked in her sweater for warmth. I'll be your mama, she told them. Sonia took her job of tending to the chickens very seriously, and they grew quickly into gawky pullets as her mama and papa went about the duties of the farm. Sonia was proud to do her part. Everywhere Sonia went, her little birds were at her heels, peeping loudly. So you know that they go from chickens, and then as they grow up a little bit more, they're called pullets. Every morning, Sonia would rise to the crow of the old rooster, which is the male chicken, and let the chickens out of their coop to forage and play. Sonia made sure her chickens had enough water. She cleaned their coop and gave them fresh straw. She fed them by scattering cracked corn on the ground and even let them peck it from her hands. Sometimes the chickens found worms for their dessert. In Sonia's care, they were soon healthy, full-grown hens. So these girls are hens. So we know that they're not roosters because it would say full-grown roosters. And so all chickens have little bits of different names. One morning, Sonia found a smooth brown egg nestled in one hen's straw bed. She put the soft egg against her cheek and said, Thank you. Sonia just adjusts that. She's putting it. Sonia was a good mama to her chickens. And it looks like that chicken is smiling. Now, every night Sonia made sure her chickens were tucked safely in their coop. As they cooed and clucked themselves to sleep, Sonia would latch the coop door and carefully shut the gate behind her before heading to her own warm home. Bunk, 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 warm home. So the chicks, the chickens live in one in the coop and they live in a home. One chilly night, Sonia woke to a ruckus of squawking and shuffly bump noises from outside, her heart beating quickly. She rubbed sleep from her eyes, pulled on her boots, and crept out to check on her birds. The night sky was big and cold, and Sonia wished she had woken her papa to keep her safe from the rustling bushes and shadows. The floor of the coop was frosted with oh, it was frosted with feathers. And Sonia cried out as she counted not three, but two frightened chickens cowering in the rafters above. The third was nowhere to be seen. Sonia burst into tears before she knew it. Strong arms scooped her up and cried, and she cried into her papa's beard. She's so lucky she has a beard for her to cry into. Here's the the um, frosting, the author has chosen these words, frosted with feathers. So it's like 
it makes it kind of sad. It also makes it makes you realize it's like the the feathers are kind of glittering and covering the the coop floor. Sonia's papa carried her into the house and held her close. When Sonia had exhausted herself with crying, she asked, "What took her? A fox? Did it kill her? It's not fair!" Shh," said Sonia's papa. "What might seem unfair to you." might make sense to a fox. And he told her a story. So we're gonna have a story in a story. Are you ready? So that's why the cover doesn't necessarily match the back. There's two stories. The fox who took your chicken lives in the woods beyond the field, Sonia's papa said. He works hard every day to find food to bring home to his babies. Most of the time he can find mice and moles, but sometimes the fox needs a big meal for his family. So he does everything he can to find one. He didn't know or care that it was our chicken he took. He just saw a chance to feed his family. I know you feel sad, but you wouldn't want those baby foxes to go hungry, would you? Sonia thought about it. No, she said, I guess not. The fox's baby is called a kit. Like a baby chicken is a chick. And you are a child, said Sonia's papa. I do everything I can to make sure you are happy and have a full belly and a warm place to sleep. You did everything you could to make sure your chicks were happy and had full bellies and a warm place to sleep because you love your chicks like I love you. The fox is no different. He loves his kids too. So even though it's sad for us, we can understand why he did it. The next morning, Sonia laid a few special stones to mark a grave for her chicken in the corner of the yard. Together, she and her family remembered their hen who had been soft, who had loved worms, and who had laid that first smooth brown egg. A bird who was loved, Sonia's mama said, giving her a kiss. Sonia's heart was heavy, but as she mourned her chicken, she thought too of the happy baby foxes living deep in the forest. So can you see that grave? It's right there. We'll let that phone ring. Sonia and her family repaired and reinforced the broken siding of the coop where the fox had gotten in. And while she was still a little sad, Sonia remained vigilant, vigilant, in caring for her two other hens. This is how you're vigil vigilant if you're Sonia. She made sure they had enough water. She cleaned their coop and gave them fresh straw and scattered uh, scattered crack corn for them to eat and reinforced their um, coop. Best of all was the day that one of the smooth brown eggs began to crack. To her delight, Sonia had a brand new chick. I will be your mama, she said. I will do everything I can to make you sure you are happy and have a full belly and a warm place to sleep. And she did. That's a real good story for right now. And look, there's the end papers are gorgeous with all those chickens and the feathers and the, what are those feathers and leaves? And a fox as well. Thank you.